Welcome back to Worth the Effort Woodworking and the third episode in our shop build vlog series. More about the experience of the shop than the actual project themselves. Uh, we are about probably three weeks after the last vlog video, so just a little quick update what's going on. Uh, we have had a new crew come out. Actually, we've had two crews. We had one crew that came out and put in the fascia boarding and then did all the hardy boarding and installed the OSB on the roof. And then we had a second full framing crew come out and do a lot of repairs and structural uh, improvements to the what was already here. If you remember, the first crew kind of left midway through. Now, I will say, we it's not as bad as it sounds it's well it's not great in that you're having so many crews come through but a lot of it does have to do with covid uh we started this you know several months into the covid thing and what's happening is a lot of people are staying home they're wanting to do little home construction crews so a lot of people are starting projects that are diverting a lot of crews away for little bits of time out there and when my parents first started planning this was before covid you know they found a quality local contractor who does major homes who happens to live in san marcus and this was kind of presented to, to them as kind of a a secondary project something that they could do in their little bit of spare time in the day but what they didn't want my parents didn't want him to be doing overtime for his crews because they did they're trying to keep costs low so they kind of gave him some permission for time leeway but if you didn't know COVID was coming out you know that kind of gets exasperated out and this being a secondary project a lot of times the crews are doing major stuff and then because of COVID they're only allowed to have one crew on a construction site at a time well when they're in a off day of one site they come over and work on here so, which is why it's just dragging on so much but one advantage is the first crew that did the initial construction was actually what I guess you would call them a third tier crew. They came out, they didn't do that great a job. They got let go because they probably found better work or something. I don't know the entire backstory. But the crew that came in and did a lot of the repairs and updates and stuff like that, they were the first choice for this gentleman. They just have a slot in their time frame where they can come up and do some work. Uh, I am told that in the upcoming week, the roofers will come out. We did have a painter come out and he painted all the trim and prep of the roof and uh, work so that they don't have to go back and paint underneath the uh, new roof. Let me show you some other features that they've done. This one corner right there was a major bone of contention with me because the previous crew, well, they miscut that one beam going up there too short and they didn't have a spare to put it up. And you know, that isn't that expensive a piece of lumber. I think it's like 45, maybe even 60 bucks now uh, because the price is going up. They should have had a spare or had some guy just run out and grab another one when you miscut it because they basically built the entire roof structure with it sitting on a two by six unnailed in really just sitting on the ground I, I thought it was incredibly unsafe well the new crew that came out they put it up there and they told my dad that those beams right the, the cross sections were structural but that corner bracket really doesn't need a lot of torsion or, or that kind of structure because that beam right there is connected to the home and the or the shop and the shop is you know it's torsional is done from the sheathing on the outside nailed to it so even if it didn't have that cross beam right there, this would not move this way unless the house did that. And that's not happening. So to me, that's just kind of decorative, but he did tell my dad that that was structural. I don't see how it can be structural if it just two screws and two screws there are holding it in, but it does look good. The roofing support right there was completely redone and it looks a lot better. They got some trim over there and I have a feeling that they're going to be doing some kind of treatment on all up in here to cover all that up. Dad seemed to think that they were just going to paint it, but you know, I don't think paint will stick to the foil. So I have a feeling they're just going to cover it up as it is. The siding people came in and I thought they did a really good job. We have really tight beams, seams all the way around the building. You don't see any really gaps, uh, which in this part of the country, I, I believe that's how it's supposed to be. I believe up north, they put a small gap in there. 
uh, I don't know if it's a southern thing or a northern thing, but I always thought that you had a little bit of metal flashing that goes up underneath here, but because the painters are going to be doing some caulking in there, uh, it's not that big a deal down here, I'm told. Uh, these overlay that much, so if water gets in here, it had to really permeate out to soak into the uh, zip sheeting out there, which has that waterproofing membrane. So all they do here is big screw, big nails up top, and little trim nails on bottom that they will fill up as they paint. In here, though, is where the big structural improvements are. They went ahead and put cross beams all up that that beam right there. Uh, up by the rooftop all the way down. They put more structural beams going up to the main beam coming across. They redid that support, which they had a temporary one there, but that's a little bit stronger. They ran beams coming down here, not only for support and structural rigidity, but also to uh, put wires on so that they aren't dangling as much. And they went ahead and put this cross support right here. Those are just individual pieces that are uh, nailed in on either side. He said that was for structural. I'm not quite sure I understand the reasoning behind that one, uh, but it's supposedly improving. I thought most of the structural was coming from the four square walls on the outside, but that was installed there. Dad decided that he would have them just go ahead and put up a wall on our storage room out back. Originally, we were going to use the uh, shelving system I had just to hold up the plywall because you had that big strong beam coming across, but he just had them do it. We'll just put the shelving up there. That way we can put a little bit more sound insulation in that, that right here because the compressor, the dust collector and stuff will be right here. And that way we will get some sound insulation between us and that and our neighbors and that. So as you can say, our neighbors like doing construction work anyway, so maybe not that big a deal. I think we're going to have some good neighbors on that for making noise. But as far as the experience, you know, my native laziness has kind of done a little bit of bone of contention between my, me and my dad because he's already ordering supplies for the apartment that we will be building on the other side. And the reason why there's been a bone of contention is because I know that the more you buy, the more you're going to have to move. And we've got to build up this area first so our shop can be working so that we can be building all the stuff over there. And so that stuff is going to be moved over there, and then it's going to be moved out there, and then we're going to be moving it back in. And my bone of contention was if it's just standard off-the-shelf stuff, just buy it as you need it. But Pricing what it is, you know, grabbing while you can, prices are low is a, also a good alternative. So damned if you do, damned if you don't, but I'm lazy and I know we're going to have to be moving this stuff. But I do believe it, it really is coming along nicely. I mean, as you can see right here, this is going to be the uh, apartment side. Three windows and then the back area is going to be storage and then we will have our storage out there. We will have a drive coming around, going around to the outside. And maybe we can build a little fenced-in yard with a garden stuff for whoever's living in the apartment. But what I'm out here doing right now is coming out and planning the stairs. Because we are going to have a little platform with stairs coming out right where those temporary RV stairs are. And this elevation right here will make it really good because we can now back our pickup truck up there and just load straight off the pickup truck which means no more lifting for a lot of the heavy stuff we take to shows. So there you go, the current status of the future worth the effort shop and dad's play area. Uh, up next is roofing. Electricians already come by, put in his bid and scheduled a time to come in, getting most of the wiring done and stuff like that. And then we will be uh, installing the back uh, back stairs and the landing. I will be building a entry door, probably a carriage style door. Once we get all that locked up, tools start getting moved in. We get everything set up on the shop side. Then we move to building a apartment. It's moving, moving slowly, but a lot of that has to do with how we set it up in the original talking to the builder that this would be a secondary project. And obviously he has bigger homes that he's focusing on. So it just kind of takes time 
and there's a COVID situation where you're only allowed one crew at a time and those crews are kind of really in demand right now because of the reason we talked about earlier. So it's just dragging on a lot longer than we thought. So there is some frustration level there that, hey, we're working our best with. But this latest crew we're really happy with because they are, I guess, executing the design a lot more professionally than the first crew we had. I guess that's the best way to explain it. But my parents are really happy with the way it's going. So come back next time and hopefully we'll be moving in and starting on projects to make the shop workable. Y'all be safe, have fun, and remember, it's always worth the effort to learn, create, share with others. Have fun.